How to make $100 every single day with YouTube automation. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to this video claiming to teach us how to make $100 per day with YouTube automation. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, and let's see if this is legit or total BS. How you can earn $100 per day with faceless YouTube automation. Uh, $100 a day and then the revenue was on zero. But even this still, like this chart is pretty far ahead. So this is probably like last 90 days you can see $55 in 90 days. So that's nowhere near a hundred bucks. So let's see if this is gonna be like funny, legit, or just BS. Even though there are many advantages to being in front of the camera, it really is not necessary. There are several examples of successful face. <laughs> Once again, like I'm not bashing on people making uh, like these numbers or just getting their channel started. No issues with that. Like I used to be I used to have these numbers as well, right? It's just funny that they're claiming to teach us how to make a hundred bucks a day. Yeah, in the last 90 days, this makes $55 and they're claiming for it to be successful. So it's just funny, don't blame me. That utilize this method. So whether you're camera shy or just seeking strategies to speed up your video editing, this video provides all the information you need. These are just simple steps. So make sure to finish this video. Step one. Select a channel niche. Why do you need to do this? Simply because you don't need to be on camera and you can talk about or teach about anything you want. Now, how do you choose a niche? It's simple. You can look at your YouTube watch history and see which topics you're always watching. Basically, your niche should be something people would watch. I mean, obviously, your niche should be something that people would watch. Going into your own watch history to find potential video ideas or niches can indeed be a great idea because if you're watching it yourself, you probably have interest in it, which I always recommend to some extent. So that's not even a bad thing. Just once again, like that phrase of saying, you should choose something that people would watch. But let's see what they come up with next. So far, pretty funny video, let's put it that way. Step two, know how or where to get your videos and voiceover. You don't have to be on camera. I mean, you can find out in the Automation First Academy, link down below, that's one way. Well, let's see this way. Since you're making a faceless YouTube channel, all you need is a bunch of relevant footage and an excellent voiceover to get started. In terms of the videos, there are various ways to do or get them. Here are a few ideas. Number one, create or record a video you can use. If you want your viewers to understand or follow along with your video, you can include B-roll footage. As a result, you are not required to appear in your video, nor are you required to give a presentation or talk in it. Yeah, that is pretty much the concept of YouTube cash cow channels or YouTube automation. So instead of doing the work yourself, showing up on camera, you delegate the work. So I, right now, am doing personal brand videos, but I also have YouTube channels where I don't show my face, no one knows that I own them, and I outsource the video production. Within these videos, we use stock footage and also original produced content to upload to the channels in a faceless way. You only have to show what you're doing, how something is done, or how a process works to produce anything. Even if you're not in front of the camera and don't have to speak to it, you're capturing action in progress without interacting with the subject. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, to be honest, I've been doing YouTube automation for a while now. I have no clue what they're talking about up until the point where they said you need to delegate the work and then use stock footage. Totally get it, that's how it works. After that, I'm, I'm totally clueless, but let's see where this goes. For two, record your computer or phone screen. An entertaining video may be- All right, get it. So the stuff they were just talking about, they were giving very vague instructions on how it works. I'm pretty sure they're referring to starting tutorial channels. Um, so basically how that works is that you make tutorials about literally anything. For example, how to turn on the camera, how to speak into a microphone, how to download something on your PC, blah, blah, blah. Just very basic stuff. They just put it in such a weird way that it was totally lost. And you probably were as well. ...by simply recording what you see on your computer or phone screen. This is an excellent tool for crafting a lesson or demonstrating a procedure, since it lets your viewers see precisely where you're clicking or pressing on your device. Exactly. So these are great channels. I actually have a few of these myself as well that make a lot of money every single month. In this case, probably around 25,000 for just these two channels. I'll show you some screenshots and you can probably check out videos on my main channel as well. 
Anyway, channels like this are, for example, how-to apps. So how-to apps is pulling 100,000 views per day with these simple social media tutorials. And these kind of channels is what they are referring to. So perfect for making gaming videos where you can show your phone or computer screen to your viewers. Number three, make use of stock videos. Taking your own footage isn't necessary. There are a lot of great providers out there for stock videos. Some are free and some are paid. Pixabay and Vidivo. I mean, to be honest, guys, like some of the stuff they're mentioning is right, but the context and the way they put it just totally wrong. Because what they just said is they you should do tutorial kind of videos where you show a specific process or whatsoever. For that, you need to record your screen. That's what they just said. And then randomly they start talking about you downloading stock footage clips and that being the video. But let me explain the issue here. So for example, if you were to upload a video to your Cash Cow channel, how to upload a video onto YouTube. Yes, you can use stock footage, that you can find on these websites, but it's not gonna be the actual tutorial video. So means that you still need to get the content produced yourself in order for you to provide value within that video. Because if you do how to download uh, a YouTube video, then yes, you can use some stock footage from YouTube for YouTube kind of clips, but that doesn't explain the process. So yes, you can do it that way, but for tutorials is what they're mentioning here. You should do for the hundred bucks a day. Using stock footage is not really the way to go because with tutorials, you just wanna record your screen or your phone basically so computer screen or phone screen and you need commentary instructions over that so stock footage is not really necessary for those kind of videos i don't do that on my channel either and that makes a lot of money with just stock footage you cannot really make those videos so i'm kind of confused um let's see where it goes are just two of the most popular stock video sites out there number four use powerpoint presentations think of a powerpoint or keynote presentation but utilize it as a video now, when it comes to making videos from your PowerPoint or Keynote presentations, both of them can record your presentations and let you save a movie file with them. You may Yeah, so that is actually a pretty good idea compared to the stock footage stuff they were saying. This can actually be good because if you can get someone, so if you pay someone to make a PowerPoint presentation, you then get someone to do the voiceover for that, you've got yourself a video. If that format works, if the PowerPoint presentation is interesting enough and the format for that works, then you've got a great video. So that is a pretty good idea. Use these tools to generate a whole video or export the films and use them in your editing software. As a result, you don't have to start from scratch. Instead, you may utilize these built-in templates. There are several incredible ones that you can download, install, and edit to make something spectacular quickly and simply. How about voiceovers? If you're comfortable with it, you can use your own voice to do the voiceovers. If not, there are sites like Fiverr and Upwork. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to do it yourself, you don't have enough budget yet, and you're willing to do it yourself, which I definitely recommend. That's how I got started myself. Then just buy a microphone like this. Like this one is like 80 bucks, I believe. You can also get a few for like 30, 40 bucks. Works totally fine. Or you can outsource it on Fiverr or Upwork. I recommend uh, Upwork. That's what I... A feature in my step-by-step uh, -step video program on how you can build your team and how to outsource the entire video production for YouTube automation specifically as well. Link down below, quick plug. But I do recommend Upwork over Fiverr. Uh, but yeah, you can do it yourself or outsource it. Hire freelancers to do voiceovers for your videos at a low price. Step three, find monetization avenues while waiting for AdSense. When it comes to earning money on YouTube passively, YouTube ads are the finest option. You should, however, avoid relying solely on ad money. Contrary to what others say, monetizing your YouTube videos or earning through ads does not happen immediately. Yeah, exactly. I like that advice. Great advice there. Definitely don't rely on just AdSense to make money from your videos. I used to do this way too long. Now I started doing brand deals and I'm actually making additional thousands of dollars every single month. The way I did that myself, I was already getting emails basically, just too lazy or not enough time, not enough interest to go back and forth and make the deals and stuff. So I hired a brand deal manager, I paying 25% for every deal he makes me and boom, I'm just getting additional income while not doing extra work compared to what I was doing two, uh, two or three months ago, for example. Actually yesterday we got a brand deal for like 1.1K dollars, which is just one video. So you can see how that adds up quite nicely you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours first before you can apply for video monetization basically you need to work hard and be patient because this is not something you can achieve overnight monetizing aside from AdSense 
is also better because it allows you to earn more and creates more value for your viewers. But how do you do this? Guys, I'm so confused. Once again, they just said, you should not rely on AdSense, make money with brands, other avenues, and then they just said this. Earn more. And monetizing, aside from AdSense, is also better because it allows you to earn more. Because it allows you to earn more. I'm not sure like they mean additional or just more, like it is better to earn more with that. But I'm not sure. Like to be honest, this video, it doesn't make sense at all yet. Creates more value for your viewers. But how do you do this? Number one, use sponsors. All right, yeah, so what I'm gonna do guys, they're basically gonna get into brand deals, stuff like that. So let me explain instead of watching the video. So you can make additional money on YouTube by basically monetizing the attention. So what it comes down to on YouTube in general, you've got attention, how do you monetize that? You've got AdSense, which is the automatic way. So YouTube can put ads on your videos and you receive the money from that, where advertisers pay to get in front of your audience. Then you've got literally monetizing the attention through brand deals. So companies pay you directly to feature a product or promote a product or service in your videos and you get paid to do so. Those numbers can add up very nicely, especially if you've got tens or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You can make thousands and thousands of dollars just from that. Then you've got affiliate marketing. So you promote once again a product or a service, you get paid a commission every single time. Someone clicks on the link in your YouTube video and then buys that product or service. They'll pay you a cut for that sale. Then finally, what I like myself is selling your own products. So these can be digital products or physical ones. Digital ones are better because they've got huge margins and they're like pretty much low overhead, right? So these are great as well. But Basically what it comes down to is monetizing attention. You can do that in so many ways. As long as you've got those eyeballs, you can sell that. Let's go to step five. Step five is to aim for rapid growth. Why is this important? <laughs> I mean, no growth, no money, right? So we all know why it's important, but let's see if they're gonna say something different. Isn't slow growth much better? Well, according to a study, businesses fail in the first three years. So you need to reinvest your profits into growing your channel. I like that. That's actually quite surprising. I wasn't expecting them to say anything like that. That is actually pretty good advice. Now I used to not do this. So I actually blew up um, in 2020 and started making like 10, 15,000 um, from September, 2020 on. And at first I wasn't really investing. I wasn't blowing money. So I wasn't going on trips or blowing on Gucci or a Rolex. So I don't even have a watch, stuff like that. I wasn't doing that. So I was saving it, but only in July, 2021. So about a year ago, I started reinvesting the money. And from there on, I've been able to build multiple channels that now also make 10 K a month, which allows you to build the income basically. So that advice right there to reinvest your profits or any money you're making into the business to grow even faster. Trust me, you should do that right away and not be scared about it. It will only make you go faster. Analyze video statistics and apply new business strategies. You must never forget that this is your business and you need to make it grow. Just like any other business, you need to have a goal and a plan to. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the video there. So they're just talking about business goals and stuff like that. Of course, have goals. Like, to be honest, it's kind of BS. It's not really well written and stuff like that. I wouldn't follow up on any of the advice apart from reinvesting your business and having multiple ways to monetize your videos. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description down below for more resources, and then I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.